Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use Visual Studio Code, also known as VS Code, to SSH into your servers and be able to run commands and edit files. Coming up. First you need to install Visual Studio Code, which is a product built by Microsoft and it's a free tool. It's also known as VS Code. So now I have installed VS Code and it's cross-platform, you should be able to install it on your machine. Uh, once you install it, open it up, this is what it looks like. So first thing you need to do is go into uh, the extension manager here, extensions, and install an extension known as remote development. If you just search remote dev, you'll find this extension here. If you install this, it basically installs a bunch of other extensions for you. So you can just install this and um, it's gonna install these required extensions for us to be able to SSH into the servers. So once that's installed, now I have, I have it installed, um, you will see this icon here called Remote Explorer. So if you click on that, I've already configured the server, but let me show you what, how you can do this. So if you click on configure here, um, you can specify a configuration file. I've specified this is my config file. This is the location. If I open this up, this is how you basically declare a server. Um, so you give it a name, you give it, give it the host name, the user, usually root for Linux servers. Um, and then you can either use a um, identity file, which is a private key file, or you can leave this blank. And if you are using a password to log in, you, you, know, you don't have to enter this. You just enter the username here. And then when you try to connect, they will ask you for it to enter the password. So that's all you need to do to kind of uh, configure a server in VS Code. And once that's configured, you can close this config file and you will see your configuration um, here in, in this tab here. Again, you select Remote Explorer. It's gonna list all the configs that you have set up before. Once this is configured and it's really easy afterwards, you just right click. You can either connect in the current window or connect in a new window. I'm gonna connect in a current window so you can see that it's gonna close whatever you had, open a new connection. And now I am logged into this server. And again, this is now, you know, the VS code is, is kind of assuming Everything, everything, everything you do from this point on is basically being done on the server. So if you try to open a folder, it's no longer your local computer's uh, you know, file structure that you will see, but instead you will see the server's file structure. So if you know, this is basically the Linux server now we have, so whatever um, you have on it, that's what you will see. Uh, is that this is a demo server that I have hosted on DigitalOcean, just if you're wondering. Um, and like for instance, I can open Zoom Admin folder here. Uh, and again, Zoom Admin is a tool for managing applications on your servers. You can check out zoomadmin.com if you're interested. But now that we have a logged in into, into the servers, into the server, um, you can, if this is not open here, the terminal, you can open a new terminal and it's basically, you can, you can also have multiple of them if you need more than one and you, you can basically run your Linux commands here and what's nice is you can copy paste commands which is much nicer than using other SSH clients, it just makes it really, you know, hard for you to copy paste stuff. Um, this just is really nice, I think, to um, to use it as SSH, as SSH client. And again, you can have multiple windows. If you want to do multi, you know, other stuff and different folders, you can see the, again, this is all running in, in the Linux server now. And so the other nice thing is that you are able to modify uh, files directly inside VS Code and it will, and it will automatically upload it for you for instance, let's say we want to create a new file here. Call it, you know, test.txt and txt for example. You know, let's say this is a 
this is a test if I can type and then just save so as soon as I save this this is actually you don't have to do anything special it saves it inside the server and now if I go to the admin folder to ls I see my uh, test file we create if you do cut on that you will see that it has the content we just typed in and again this is a nice way to either edit configuration files or website files or you know whether you're running a wordpress website or something else you can directly edit files inside vs code and it's a nice editor it will give you you know nice coloring as well if you have uh, if you're running code like php or some other program language it's a vs code is actually heavily used by the development community so it's built as a developer tool which is why you have a lot of extensions you have a lot of uh, bells and whistles added to vs code because it's, it is a developer tool it's not just a ssh client uh, so hopefully, hopefully this was helpful if you enjoyed this video please give us a like and comment below if you have any questions or if you were able to connect to your server using VS Code, just comment below. below. Let, let me know that it worked for you as well. If, or if you had any issues, also let us know and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.